All right, I'm going for it. I'm calling it. We're going to turn this into the first catch and cook episode. I'm down here fishing with my mate Ash. I'm optimistic we're going to get a couple of barra today. We're looking for something between, say, 55 and 65 centimetres. Anything around that size. We're going to turn this into a catch and cook episode. I do need to tighten that a little bit. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Oh, yo, Viote. Come on, mate. Is he ready? Oh, he might be ready. Right, we'll just turn him and then. Yep. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, mate. Oh, last, last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Come on, mate. No more mucking around, please. Straighten the net. He's upside down. He's upside down. I'm dragging him now. Oh, come on. Turning. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yes! Yo, bloody ripper! <laughs> oh, that is just unreal. This is Croc territory, so I am willing to sacrifice you for the barra. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good looking fish, man. That is a nice fish. Holy crap, I think I've got a tape measure somewhere. Yeah. Yes, I do. Could it be a PB? Oh, I'd be close, mate. I reckon he's, he'd be going close to 90. He's a skinny fish, though, so he's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's measure him good because he's really close to 84, <laughs> which is my PB. PB, PB, is that a seven? There's a seven and a half. A seven. 87, PB, <laughs> yo, me <Yeah>. OT. <laughs> nice. Look at the size of the mouth on that bastard, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Just get, get amongst it, mate. I was gonna get the pliers, but I'm gonna fist him. Oh, he's out, he's out. Yeah. All right, I've got to say, the Savage Gear 3D shrimp, <laughs> yet again, unbelievable. I reckon we should probably get a photo of a PB, what do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon mate, I reckon. Unreal. Come on big girl. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's wiping down. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. She's, she's all good. She's all good. Alright, see you sweetheart. Come on. Yo, Fiona. Oh, you got him? Yeah, got him. That's a good size fish. Oh, yeah. jumping. Oh, he's gone in the reeds there. Oh, you'll drag him out of there, no dramas, mate. On the 10 pound, you reckon? <laughs> he's gone through them reeds and on the other side. <laughs> Come on, mate, show him who's boss. He's not a bad fish, he's probably about that 60. Yeah, 60 yeah, perfect. The exact size fish we're looking for got for him, a catch him, and cook. Got him, got him, got him, got you got him out? Catch and cook, buddy. Catch and cook, get out there. Yo, Viotti. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. Yo, Viote! That's a that's a 73 in anyone's language. Oh, I'm taking it back. 71. Holy crap! You had to. Oh, and the lure pops out. That's that's the only way I do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at you, buddy. Approximately 72. What do you reckon, mate? We take a fillet off him or what? Yeah, mate, may as well, may as well cook a feed up, eh? Yo, beauty! Perfect! We've 
we've got old mate here, he sliced up into some pieces there. We've already got um, the rest of the fish in the, in the big esky in the car. But this is enough fish for us just to have a bit of a little snack on now. So what I plan on cooking today is a Thai inspired battered barramundi. I've already prepared the batter earlier today at home and here's what I did to prepare it. So once this is all cooked, I'm expecting the flavors to only come out fairly subtle, but it's just gonna add a little bit of punch to the flavor. To make the batter, I'm basically gonna chuck all the ingredients in the little ninja and blend it all up. I've got a few kaffir lime leaves here that I've picked straight from the garden. There's nothing more Thai than kaffir lime. Next, we've got a few cloves of garlic. No need to take the ends off them because it's all gonna get blended up. Again, straight from the garden, chili. We're gonna have a bit of heat. A pretty generous amount of some sea salt flakes and some cracked black pepper. Now, before you freak out and say, I don't like coriander, this is ground coriander. It doesn't taste anything like the leaves. I don't like coriander, but this is essential. You've got to chuck the ground coriander in. Now for the flour, that's going to be the main ingredient in the batter. And I only spilled half of it. Just going to add some water. Righty, now you can sit in the esky while we go fishing. Yep, here's old mate here. Thai inspired batter. So Thai inspired battered barramundi. I've got the pan here, I've got some oil in it already. I've got the little gas burner, we are good to go. Let's see if this batter's hot enough. Just... Oh, sounds good, what do you reckon Ash? Bloody beautiful mate, sounds bloody beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this bad boy in. It smells good too. Already, we haven't even started cooking. Oh, wow. So that fish had a heartbeat around eight minutes ago. <laughs> Unreal. You ready for a piece, mate? Oh, mate, always ready for fresh barramundi. <laughs> eight minutes old. My favourite. You're a jerk. <laughs> Just for that, you get the small piece. Oh, that's, that's the stick I wanted. <laughs> there you go, got a fancy plate and everything. Oh, look at this. You bloody ripper. Oh, Jesus oh, look, I'll do the dishes, mate. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. It's like I'm in Thailand eating barramundi. Spot on. <laughs> it's like I'm in Thailand eating barramundi. Uh, I can taste the apple lime coming out, mate. Straight up. Yeah? Straight up. Beautiful. I don't know if you jam me up, you bastard. No, I'm dead dead as <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, Mmm. <laughs> Well, there you go, folks. My first ever catch and cook episode. Unfortunately, I didn't do the catching. Ash did. But I did get my PB, so we had to let him go. But as far as the cooking went, I think we've got a couple of satisfied customers here. Mm. Unreal. Well, I'm Mikey Cunningham, and thanks for watching NT Fishing Adventures. All right, for full disclosure, this is a shot that I'm going to show at the very end of the video after the whole thing's over. Full disclosure, the beautiful barrow that Ash caught. Here is a shot of him letting it go. You have been deceived, my viewers. The actual barrow we've cooked up today is a 64 centimeter barrow that I caught in the Davies at Spot X on the 26th of October, 2017. I'm sorry for lying to you, but we just really didn't want to keep that 70, what was it, 73? Yeah, it was a freshwater fish either as well, so. Sorry guys.